Hello and welcome to this Forex News Preview for Thursday, March 28th. I'm Christina Barthenis, investment analyst here at Exxon.com and at this video we'll briefly discuss about the US core PC inflation, personal income and personal consumption data due on Friday at 12.30 GMT. So back in 2018 we have seen the core personal consumption expenditure index, the Fed's most favored inflation measure increasingly improving towards the central bank's 2% target in July. That provided comfort to policymakers to raise interest rates three times by then, as GDP growth was also the highest in more than three years. And then in the last quarter of the year, the index slipped uh, to 1.9% with the Fed missing its target. But while this wasn't uh, much of a concern at the beginning, as the central bank delivered another rate hike in December, our forecasts now suggest that inflation remains steady at 1.9% year on year in January, despite wage growth improvement. On the other hand, personal consumption is said to have increased by 0.3% month on month after declining by 0.5% in December, while personal income for February, which dropped by 0.1% in January, is also expected to grow by 0.3%. Uh, however, looking at uh, previous numbers, we can see that these are normal levels for consumption and income. Therefore, uh, the economy may find it hard to raise inflation pressures through higher household spending at a time when the trade war between the US and China, uh, Brexit and the Eurozone's economic and political weakness uh, threaten to reduce activities in the US and also globally. Uh, the decline of the 10-year Treasury yield below uh, the short-term three-month bill last week also made markets think about a recession more seriously because if you look at the chart, such a cross preceded the 2000-2007 recessions. Uh, however, the signal could be considered less reliable as the 10-year government bond uh, should have dropped below the 2-year Treasury yield first uh, before touching the 3-month line, which didn't happen this time. Uh, still, the yields will be closely watched while the property market will be also under the spotlight for any signs of a slowing economy after data in January showed that house prices uh, corrected lower for the 11th consecutive month in January. Uh, now turning to FX markets, the dollar first sharply after the FOMC policy meeting last Wednesday uh, kept interest rates steady uh, but surprisingly revised rate projections and also growth and inflation forecasts to the downside with a dot plot showing no rate hikes for 2019 and only one for 2020. Uh, markets took the dovish meeting as a sign that the central bank would not delay any rate cut if conditions uh, deteriorate and should Friday's data miss expectations, uh, chances for such a case would increase and the dollar would come under fresh selling probably towards uh, 110 and 109.80 uh, while lower support could be also found between uh, 109.60 and 108.42. On the flip side, if the numbers are a bit forecast, restoring some optimism for the US economy, uh, then we could look for resistance at uh, 110.80 and then higher at 111 and 111.20. Uh, besides, with the euro and the pound being in a more unfavor unfavorable position, uh, preference uh, for the dollar is expected to hold up. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching and have a great day.